What up guys, Desert Punk back again with another grow video. In today's video, we'll be going over week number 5 of the Gorilla Glue Auto Flowers from Grower's Choice Seeds. We'll be adding some very beneficial bugs inside of our grow tent. We're going to be doing some very light trimming of our plants so we can redirect some of that energy upwards. And we're going to get our girls started on their first taste of some nutrients. Day number 29 with the Gorilla Glue Auto Flower, and these girls are definitely beginning their flowering phase. They have bud sites shooting out white pistols all over the plants, and they're starting to smell great. I'm really impressed at how big this plant has actually gotten. It's actually surpassed the plant that's in the plastic pot here. Until now, this has been the biggest of the Gorilla Glue plants, but that one is definitely caught up and stretched out a lot more. This plant definitely has some good bud sites on it too. The third plant here is real short, real squatty. But it looks like it has a decent amount of bud sites and it's probably just going to produce one massive cola. It probably got stunted out due to the heat or due to the thrips and white flies causing too much damage to the leaves. I'm not ready to give up on it yet though. Here you can see the damage done by the thrips and the white flies and the little, little white dots on it. If I flip the leaf over, the big white dots are the white flies eggs, the smaller white dots are the thrips. So we're going to take care of that today. I went to my local hydroponic store and picked up some ladybugs. We're going to be releasing them into the tent and they should be able to take care of our problem. As you can see these girls come hungry and ready to go go ahead and take the top off of these and start pouring them on our plants. I really don't want to use any harsh pesticides on these plants. I really want to stick with an all natural way so I'm hoping the ladybugs will be able to fix this problem. I'll go ahead and sprinkle them all over my plants and lock them into the tent. They should be able to stay in there for about a day maybe two. The tent's not completely sealed so they will be able to escape. But like I said, they're hungry, so they're going to comb over my plants and eat all of the detrimental bugs before escaping, hopefully. The ladybugs won't do any damage to my plants, as they don't eat leaves, they eat other bugs. They only cost me about $10 too, so they're a real inexpensive, all-natural, organic way to take care of this problem. Day 32, all the ladybugs have gotten out of the tent. And it's been a couple days and they seem to have done their job. I can't find any more white fly eggs or thrips on the leaves. However, this is not a permanent solution and I'll probably have to end up getting more ladybugs again. You can see here, the plant in the cloth pot has really stretched out and I'm able to start low stress training it here through the cage. This is going to help expose these sites to sunlight and hopefully make some bigger colas. I want to direct as much energy as possible to these bud sites so we're going to be doing some light defoliation. I picked up an ordinary pair of garden shears for five dollars at my hydroponic store. We're just going to be trimming all the lower growth off of these girls just so we can redirect that energy up to the areas we want the plant to grow. I know this can be scary for new growers. You really don't want to hurt your plants and you don't know exactly what they can take. But just start off slow, cut off a couple of the lower branches and like I said before, a little bit of stress for your plants is a good thing. It will get them to grow stronger. By trimming off these lower sides that aren't going to produce any buds worthwhile anyway, we're going to get bigger, better yields from the top. I have very high hopes from this strain and I'm having a blast growing it. I can't wait to see what we can do with it. We've been getting a lot of random summer storms here in the high desert. And I've been letting the plants out of the tent just so they can get some of that natural rain. And they really seem to love it. 
This is definitely a benefit to growing outdoors in comparison to indoors. That being said, today is our first day of nutrients for our girls. We've decided on our nutrient line. We're going with Roots Organic, Buddha Grow, and Buddha Bloom formula. These are great, all natural nutrients that should help our plants grow even bigger and even better. Trying to stay all natural and inexpensive with this grow, just to see what I can do without spending a lot of money. Both these bottles were only $10 at my local hydroponic store. I'll be adding two tablespoons of each per gallon every other watering for the next month of these plants life. This should give the plants everything they need for us to really push them to the limit. We're on day 34 and these girls are starting to pick up the pace on their flowering. This one especially is growing at a much faster pace than the other two. For it being short, it's definitely trying to finish early. But it smells great, looks great, and I have no complaints. The girl in the plastic pot here hasn't stretched out as much as the one in the cloth pot, and I'm not really able to tuck its branches through the cage to get it to grow out instead of up. So I'm going to have to start stressing out her branches to encourage them to grow a little longer. As you can see here, these ones are much longer than that one. Uh, I'm really impressed at how this plant has exploded. Uh, got really high hopes for it. I also might just make the cage a little bit smaller on that one so that we can really tuck them in and start working with her a little more. Here we are on day 35. The nighttime shots, you can really see how frosty and green these bud sites are on this little guy. He is definitely moving along a lot faster than the other two, but I still think we can get one big cola on him. Not ready to give up on him yet. Here's our girl in the cloth pot. She's really starting to shoot out those pistols. Plants are giving off a really stinky odor already, and I can't wait to see the final results of these plants. The Gorilla Glue is definitely a fast moving auto flower, and I'm really loving how these plants are progressing. And now let's take a look at our girl in a 10 gallon cloth pot. She's really moving along quickly and I'm loving her structure. You can see all the branches that we've low stress trained through the cage are pointed upwards now and are collecting as much light as possible. This is going to result in some fat side nugs. Well guys, that's going to do it for us here this week. Please like and subscribe for more cannabis related content. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or support me on Patreon at Desert Punk Road. Most importantly, stay faded.